you send Solifuge into Elephant? I am. I, I think at this point I just bash with everything each turn. I'm just going to throw all my burn and all my creatures at him as often as possible. Oh, it's the result of the Blood Witch. Yep, Solifuge goes into combat, but thanks to Lizolda, remind you exactly what Lizolda does? He sacrifices a creature to deal two. Because Solifuge is red, he that was, that was an extra two points of burn. That right? was two points of burn. Kazuya Mitamura is all the way down to one, facing Lizolda and Sky Knight Legionnaire. He basically needs to kill both creatures, and he has to kill Lizolda before Saito untaps. And he cannot do it. Kazuya Mitamura has been killed by Tomoharu Saito. Saito evens it in a game apiece, and they are going to game three. That was a, that was a really, uh, you can really see the power of of the deck right there, where he gets through, uh, did 28. So you really, you really see the power of the Rakdos deck there. I mean, he, he dealt, he fought his way through two straight Loxed and Hierarchs with basically just a Sky Knight Legionnaire and a giant Solifuge. So it sounds like Shadow Yasuka won uh, game one, one the table, in the yep. seat. That debtor's no pulled it through. That makes sense. Yeah, you think so? It looked like he was ahead when we left the there, game. There, so there are actually Yasuoka no has indeed even. <laughs> there are actually no cards in Arita's deck that could have conceivably extracted him from that situation. Yeah, that didn't involve Yas Yasuoka actually having an extreme, you know, cerebral hemorrhage first. <laughs> All right, so we will go to table A. We will watch game three between Nakajima with his Hell Dozers against Kaji and his Maroys. Those guys are shuffling up. All three matches are shuffling right now. So, just to recap what's going on. D25 took game ones on two tables, but Kachiharu 80 has now taken the last three games. So, there's one match that's going to game three, there's another match that's going to game three, and Yasaoka is up a game in the middle for Kachiharu 80. So I think we're going to try to get a little insight into what these guys side border. <laughs> yeah, Kachi just keeps trying to push his curve down further. <laughs> Took out the side followers completely. Took out the Mimeo fractures. Reduced the rolling spoils. Watch the two cats. Sky Swallower seems like a. Like a Crazy dream in this in this <laughs> matchup. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's, he's got the cantrips too with uh, Bounce Arm. <laughs> Were you surprised how much ribbons a night you saw this uh, this weekend? You know, I didn't really see it until we started looking at these deck lists. So I, I I find it really interesting that I I don't think I saw the spell resolve despite watching a lot of the top tables. But these guys do have it. It seems like this niche card and. The, de the team that got through the finals really understood the metagame they were going to be walking into, and they have all these itchy cards that worked out good. It, it, for one more mana, it has a very similar effect to face fetters. Sure, it's and if you can only have four face fetters, right. well, here's face fetters number five, six, seven, and eight. Gives you a way to have a card that plays that role in the deck. It's also similar to the way everybody wanted Civic, wa Civic Wayfinder, and then other the blue white deck figured out, you know, Quarter Star is almost the same thing. A couple of teams felt that quarter star was actually better. Yeah, once they started playing with it, like, it, was a be it was a better blocker. Uh, in the glare build, it actually did little tricky things where you get to get in for one, you attack with your quarter star with vigilance, then you tap a guy, and you, know, you get in for one point of damage. And in the late game, it was just much, much, much better than a, than a separate wayfinder because really you were just digging for action spells at that point. Right. So in a late game top deck, in, in general, you almost always get a land off of it. Right, right, right. When you play it on turn three. All three matches are shuffling right now. Kajaharu 80. Each member has won a game. T25. They're down a game. They only have... They don't have a win in the middle yet. Kaji would sure like to get out of the semifinals this year. Sure. Kaji's third top eight? In the last this is his third top eight, yes. And Arita's fourth. And it's, it's the second for Saito? <laughs> Sounds right. I guess I can just look here on his sheet. Yeah, 
たくなって、カウンターばっかりじゃなくて、カウンターばっかりじゃなくて。Saito slaps his face. <laughs> <laughs> I like this overhead camera shot. We're seeing. Yeah, yeah. We see the audience at home has been seeing a lot of it too. There's Nakajima looking at his grip, waiting for Kaji to finish mulliganing. Okay. So Kaji is on. What do you like at this point in this match? You've seen the decks in action. Five games in the books. Who's advantage here? I still like Kaji. Okay. I definitely I like Kaji. Yeah, so okay, watching the match. Well, yeah, he's up a game, so that was but, hard. But, but, but watch, just watching it play out, it just seems. It seemed ultimately it's like. Definitely better set up for control and control. If no one stumbled early, just in the late game seemed overwhelmingly in his favor. Sure. Uh, especially because he just had so many more counter spells. And, uh. I, I gotta tell you, I, I like Saito. I like Saito beaten down. It's like the first match to get started is game two on table B. Got a Cortisar in play. It looks like it's that Arbiter or Cort Cortisar. Oh, the, the promo lightning helix in the graveyard. That lightning very helix pretty very helix nice. in uh, Ryuichi Arita's graveyard. How do you get that one? Uh, that is one of the Magic Player Rewards cards. Mm -hmm. So, playing DCI sanctioned tournaments, you get stuff like that mailed to you for free. Giant Solifuge. Giant Solifuge was just convoluted. Really? Oh, he covered up the helix before we got it on camera. It's too bad. It's under that solid. Darn that convolute. It seems like it's more than two damage. It's so <laughs> Dueling Corkisars. Yeah. land. It does. So Yasoka just played a uh, watery grave uh, upright. He took two life from that. Wants to have permission, mana. See if Arita's got anything he can slog through with. He's got another another Corky star. <laughs> So could you see a situation when you were playing Randy that if, if the shock lands were in play, that you would pay two life for a shock land and not have the counter spell? Absolutely, that's an awesome bluff. Like if you play if you're willing to pay two life to put a land into play on tap, your opponent has to believe you have something to do with it. They have they have to respect that they bluff. They have to respect you have to respect that bluff. It's really I don't think the opponent can afford to call that bluff unless they're desperate. It's a really nice one. 